So the tool is called a cool and it's an online tool. It's a few dollars a month. You don't have to subscribe to test it out. They have some test resources if you want to use those just to see what is possible. Uh, but if you are working on a project where character consistency is a big deal or you want to swap the face of the person in the video, then this tool is definitely your best bet. So this is my obligatory make sure that you're using things ethically conversation with you. Obviously, make sure that you have permission whenever you are working with people's like this. Don't spread fake news and use this to help with character consistency in your films or to swap faces with people that you have permission for, obviously for creative decisions and not for spreading the information that is false. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's get into actually using this tool. So there are a few different examples inside of the folder. We will start with the woman looking at the camera example. You can just take the video file, drop it onto their homepage, and it will take a few seconds to analyze. Okay, so when we play this back, you can see that there is a lot of camera shake. Her lips are moving a lot, and there's a lot of expression in her face. So traditionally, this would have been a very, very challenging face swap if you were simply motion tracking or using a tool like Adobe After Effects. So it would have been virtually impossible to pull this off unless you worked at high-end Visual Effects Studio and had a lot of time on your hands. So now we want to add in a face swap with the subject. And whenever you're swapping faces, it is important to think about the facial structure of the underlying talent whenever you are swapping the face. It usually has better results whenever the face you are swapping for is close to the reference image that you will be uploading. So definitely just keep that in mind. For our example, we have this image here of this woman. The face is somewhat similar. The big difference is you can see her eyes are this kind of gray green color, whereas hers are brown. Uh, but generally, I think this is a good image that we can use. You also notice that there is a lot of flat lighting. So it's very important not to have a lot of harsh shadows. So the AI algorithm can essentially train itself uh, on this face in a realistic way. So that's the image we'll use. We'll go to choose face. And now let's select that image. So the image is uploaded. All you have to do is select the face that you want to swap into the video. We'll click this face enhance button. I found that it works pretty well. And go ahead and click high quality face swap. Sometimes if you do face enhance and it doesn't look exactly right, you could deselect that and swap it as well uh, and kind of compare and contrast it to you. But in general, I've seen that face enhance tends to do a little bit better job. Okay, so while that is rendering, we're going to change the content and do another shot. So let's up things a little more and let's use this shot of this woman playing guitar. So you can see this is kind of tricky because she was looking down and looking up and looking at the guitar. So traditionally, this would have been a very challenging shot to pull up. So I'm going to select this video here and we will upload it and it's going to analyze. Okay, so we have the woman playing guitar in here. Now, you'll notice for this video, there's different basically avatars because it didn't really understand when she would look away from the camera that the next frame is actually her same face. So we're going to have to assign our new face to every iteration of her looking at the guitar. So let's go ahead and choose our face here. So we're gonna swap with this face here. Go ahead and click open. And now again, we'll select the face just for each little bubble here. And click generate. And I also want to show you another example here. So we have this cinematic scene of this woman. It's kind of in slow-mo. She's looking to the right. So this is a very traditionally challenging shot for face swappers because they tend to do better whenever the subject is looking a little more at the camera. So this is going to be a tricky one. I think it might get a little wonky, but let's test it out. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that into the tool. Uh Okay, you can see that it found her face in three different avatars because she's looking to the side. The AI is having a really hard time. 
So the face I'm going to use in this instance is actually just going to be Shelby's face. So we'll bring her into this frame here. And we'll select her for all of the bubbles here. Now, I should note before we hit the face swap button that this is a really challenging shot. Not only is she looking to the side, there's also some interesting lighting effects that are happening with some film grain and some fog. So this would be a very, very challenging shot to pull off even uh, before using AI tools. If you had a VFX team, this would be very, very tricky. So let's go ahead and face swap. And finally, the last shot that I want to take a look at is a really interesting use case. And I think that for AI filmmaking, it might be one of the most applicable. So I have this shot from Pika Labs. And essentially what is happening is we took some footage from Pika Labs of this Jedi talking. You can see his face is basically my face. And we went into Wave to Lip and lip synced the lips talking inside of the brain. Then we took that footage, brought it into Pika Labs, up it with the Iris bottle, which is the model that's designed for up human faces. And essentially now we have this kind of multi-shot compilation where the lips match, he is blinking, and it essentially has my face. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring this into the tool. And for the face, I'm going to bring in this person's face. So again, it's kind of similar to my face uh, in composition, and I think that uh, it might result in a pretty good face swap. So let's go ahead and bring that in. And we'll go ahead and select that image for the face we are trying to swap. You can scroll down to the end and add it in here. Now you can see that it also is bringing in some of the background characters. So yes, you do have the ability to swap multiple faces in a single frame, which is really, really interesting. Now for the alien, I don't really have a face to swap it with, but I just want to have some fun and I don't know, let's just like select this woman and we'll do high quality base swap. And so whenever your files are done, they can take about two to five minutes each you can just go to the results page and then download them from here. So let's take a look at our results here. I want to compare and contrast the examples that we uploaded. So let's start with the very first one. So the woman looking at the camera. So this is our original video. Okay. And let's take a look at the face walk. Okay, so I think this looks pretty good. Now, her face is slightly plastic, but I should note that the image that we uploaded kind of had a slightly plastic vibe to it. So it actually stayed true to the image that we uploaded, and it did a pretty good job. Now, there is, if you really, really notice, there's a bit of a square kind of outline of where her face is, and you could very easily mask that out in a tool like After Effects or Adobe Premiere, kind of fix where her hair is uh, kind of creating this slight cutoff here. But it's really not a big deal. And notice it really did a good job with the lips, the mouth talking, uh, her eyes, they kind of close, they look off to the side. It's pretty expressive. So a very interesting result right off the bat. Now, let's take a look at our guitar playing. So again, this is the original footage. Woman looking down, looking at the camera, slightly out of focus. Very, very tricky shot. Now, let's take a look at the face swap. Okay. So this result is really, really good. Her eyelashes even blink there towards the end. So it looks really amazing. Now, there is, again, that slight line that we could get rid of very quickly uh, in Adobe After Effects. And in fact, I'll show you uh, in this video how to do that very fast. Uh, but... Really, it did an amazing job at swapping the face. It even has the shadow. You see the, sh the light, the way it's coming in. There's a shadow that's crossing her face just a little bit there. So it looks incredibly realistic. I would never think that this would have snot uh, footage of this woman playing guitar. So let's take a look at our most challenging example. So our cinematic scene. So again, this woman is kind of looking to the right, which is traditionally really bad for face swap. There's a color grade. There's a grain. It's through fog. This is just typically an impossible shot uh, to put together using traditional motion tracking. 
And let's take a look at what our result is here. Okay, great. So you can see that this one did a much worse job than the other ones. Now, I would say outside of the left eye, because you can see the eye is kind of dancing around. It's because the footage is so foggy. There's not enough track points for the face swapper to know what to do. Uh, but generally, it did a good job with the color grading, with compositing her lips, uh, with uh, the lines of the face. Uh, but because of the the way in which the footage was shot, it was just much, much more challenging to pull off for the face swapper. So I think this is a great showcase of the limitations of the tool. And if you are actually shooting footage that will have face swapping technology applied, typically you will want to shoot that on as clean of a plate as possible and then stylize and post. It's just a lot easier to do it that way. And typically whenever you're working on a visual effects project, that is the way in which you would approach uh, that creative workflow as well. So finally, let's take a look at our example from our AI footage show. Remember, all of this is AI generated. There's nothing real in the scene. This was a mid-journey image with uh, Pika Labs movement with wave to lip lip sync on top of AI upres. So this is completely artificial intelligence. And we are going to face swap this guy's face with the other guy. So this is the other guy we're going to face swap him with. Let's take a look at the result. Did wait. What do you my man the pot? Okay, great. So it did a really good job with this face here. You can see even the mustache has um kind of some realistic follicles in there. So it did a great job. I love the face swap of the woman here. It's actually really interesting because it really brought in the characteristics of the underlying alien. Uh it's so it's like the alien has like, you know, uh eyelashes, which is so funny. Uh, but I, I think it did a really, really good job, especially considering this is all AI generated. So it's a very helpful for creating character consistency inside of your work. So lastly, I want to show you how we can fix this slight little line that's popping up inside of this frame. So in order to do that, we're going to go over to Adobe After Effects. Hypothetically, you could use any video editing tool that allows you to do masking. So what I'm going to do is import not only our footage of the face swap, but also the original footage as well. So let's grab that footage and drop it into our project here. So let's take this face swapped footage here. So this is the footage that has the new face applied. And we're going to drop it on this icon here that looks like uh, it has like colorful shapes on it in a reel. That creates a new composition. So just like a new sequence inside of Adobe Premiere, it just essentially creates a timeline with that footage. And again, we can see that if we zoom in here, we're getting that line on her hair. Okay. So now let's drop in the regular footage of her before we face swap. So remember, this was our original actress. We can kind of toggle on the eyeball here on and off, changing her face. It's really interesting. So what we're going to do is actually use the footage from the original footage and use it to clean up this line here. And there's two ways that we could do this. The number, the number one way is we could hypothetically cut a hole out of the vlogging footage or we could cut a hole out of the face swap footage. What I think I would rather do is cut a hole out of the woman vlogging the face swap footage just for the parts that we need to remove. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to the pin tool here at the top. You can hit G for the keyboard shortcut as well. And let's go ahead and just cut out the parts that have that weird line. So if we solo this by hitting this dot here, we're only seeing the footage of the face swap. You can see that there's this real harsh line. Well, what I want to do is actually see everything but what I have isolated here. So we're going to click this drop down menu, go to mask and change it to subtract. So now it's basically saying that we are subtracting the frame here. And what I will also do is set a keyframe for the mask path. So essentially now we'll be able to move this mask around and it will track with all of our movements automatically. So we just had to make sure that we had that stopwatch selected. So I'm going to make sure our uh, solo wing is deselected. So now we can see the footage underneath and you can zoom in and see that there is no harsh line there anymore. So now let's just track through and see if there's any issues where we see that line in. So I don't want the actual mask to ever touch her face because that would defeat the purpose of face swap if we were cutting off her face, right? 
Uh, so we're definitely going to want to move that around. So you can just select these here and just change the positioning so that they look right and they're getting rid of that, that harsh line. Again, if it ever touches our face, we can just grab it down a little bit. That. You never want it touching her face. Just a very quick back and forth process. And you're not going to have to do this for most of the face swapping scenes. It's really just the ones that have problematic results. If you look at a lot of the examples from those people, the metaphysic people, they actually do have a certain amount of post-processing. They have a tool that can face swap live, but whenever they're working on film projects for post-production, there is a healthy amount of post-processing that goes into it just to polish everything up. So this is a very normal part of the face swapping process. Okay. And we'll move forward here. You can see that there's a bit of a line at this part here. Again, we just don't want it touching her face at any point. So that would defeat the purpose of the tracker. Or face swap, rather. Okay. And this was a fairly tricky shot because it was handheld and her face was moving quite a bit. So this was not a typical super easy track for these tools, but it still did a really, really good job. Okay. All right. So that's about it. And now we'll hit F for feather. I like feathering it out about 10 pixels. Feathering basically just means softness. So if I isolate this, you can see the edge is a little softer. So by default, it's at zero. It's a real harsh edge. But I like doing about 10 just because it smooths it out, gets rid of any harsh edges or weird pixelation that's happening. So now let's go ahead and play this back. Okay, so if we zoom in here, you can see that there's no more line. Everything looks very, very realistic and looks pretty good. Now, I can see that there's a little bit of some coloration happening over here. We could go in and feather it out even more if we wanted to. But I think for the most part, it looks pretty darn good. Okay, so I hope you found this lesson to be helpful. Face swapping is a very powerful tool that can really help you with character consistency. And I really believe that it is one of the most important and revolutionary AI tools available to filmmakers.